to introduce my poems too much because apparently they should be able to stand alone. So I'm not going to introduce any in this set, I'm going to see how well it goes. But this is called A Poem About a Shoe. I received a letter from your solicitor today telling me I really must stop writing poems about you or you will sue. <laughs> she said, my client insists that you refrain from slandering his name in the public poetry domain. So here, let me make this clear, this is not a poem about you. This is not a poem about a man who screws around. It is not a poem about boozing, losing, drug choosing, smirking, work shirking, and just generally jerking off. <laughs> this is not a poem about you. This is a poem about a shoe. Once upon a time, across a crowded room, I saw a shoe. And he came up to me and he said, hey, you. And I said, who? And he said, you. And I said, you're talking to me, shoe. And he said, yeah, you. How do you do? We seemed to fit. And for a while there, there was nothing I couldn't do with my shoe. We were tied together. Our souls mused like the marble pattern on the rubber of your Wellington boots. We seemed to suit. We walked astride with each other, in step with each other, and I thought that he would heal all my previous woes, and he so wanted to. He caressed my toes and let his tongue go loose. But then, one day, my shoe said, Hey, there's something I want to say. I want to stray. It's just something us shoes have got to do, though it's actually less about me and more about you. I see these other feet, it's like shoe porn, I can't help it, I've got the shoe horn. I want to put myself in fetish play. And by the way, your best friend wore me yesterday. Once upon a time, across a crowded room, I saw a shoe, and I wish that I knew then what I know now, that my best friend is a cow, and that it's never a good idea to buy a sofa with a shoe, especially when that shoe is a loafer like you. So to you and your solicitor, I say go ahead and sue, or just shoe. <laughs>